Meet Jimmy. Jimmy makes concept maps when learning. According to Jimmy, his encoding is so good that he doesn't need retrieval. Today, we'll look at the 2011 paper by Karpik that experimentally compares concept mapping and retrieval. At the end of this video, we'll decide what the authors would say about Jimmy. Jimmy is making two claims. One, that concept mapping is better than retrieval for learning. And two, that he himself can accurately predict what technique will have a better learning outcome. To test these claims, the authors create an experiment with 80 undergraduates studying a scientific text. They break the participants into four groups. Group one studies the text once. Group two studies the text repeatedly, four times. Group three learns concept mapping and makes a concept map while studying. Group four studies the text, does free recall, studies the text again, and does free recall again. One week later, participants are given a short answer test on both lower level and higher level knowledge. Before we look at the results, let's look at how each group predicted they would do. Those who studied four times thought they would do the best. Those who did retrieval practice thought they would do the worst. Can you guess what actually happened? In reality, the retrieval practice group had the best performance. It even beats out concept mapping. You might not be fully convinced, so the authors did another experiment to make sure they got it right. Each participant studied two scientific texts. Some of them performed concept mapping on the first and retrieval on the second, and some of them did it in the opposite order. For the test, participants were broken into two groups. Some of them were tested on short answers again, but others were tested on their ability to make a concept map. Let's look at the predictions first. Again, those doing retrieval practice didn't think they'd do very well. Concept mappers were more confident. Can you guess the results? Retrieval practice comes out on top again. Amazingly, even for those tested by making a concept map, retrieval is still better. Going back to Jimmy and his claims, the results of this paper say that retrieval is better than concept mapping, and that most students fail to predict that. Although he didn't say it, I think a third claim from Jimmy would be that retrieval isn't really about learning, it's about testing things you've already learned. The authors argue that this might be a misconception. When we use a concept map for elaborative studying, we're adding to the knowledge in our brain. When, based on a cue, we try to retrieve information we're learning, we have to organize that knowledge to better match cues to information. Thus, retrieval isn't just testing and preventing the well-known forgetting curve. Retrieval was actually crucial to learning and encoding. The authors would probably say Jimmy was wrong, on all accounts. They might even advise him to try concept mapping from memory as a form of retrieval. What do you think? What would you like to see in a new experiment?